it is time for the Silver Shroud. And I mean, look at his army. I have some spare components. My god. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, thank you. There's a lot of people here, huh? Hello? Oh, no, no, we haven't. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you. Of course. I think we can I love your cool. bucket hat. So, is there anything you need me to get started on? Uh, uh yeah, actually. Okay. We do have something useful this guy can do. We've got, uh, this, this scavenging station. God knows what it does, but we'll, oh, uh, there you are. Perfect. Resources now assigned. God knows what that does. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to start like that. Oh, he's so enormous. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. So, uh, before we carry on with the DLC, I'm going to focus today. We're going to focus down hard. It was a lot of, um, stumbling across stuff and doing a little exploring yesterday, but we're going to, we're going to really stick to the DLC today. Before we do that. I know how ironic that is. Before we do that, we... Uh, somebody said go back to the Cabot house. Now, I knew the quest reward from um, the whole Cabot series was getting the gun. And I presume that one that we picked up was it. That gamma gun. Oh, it must be in storage. But apparently, the one that we're supposed to get is a different gun. Same model or whatever, but but it does a different effect. So, we'll head back over there and take a look. My only concern is someone else said that we, we have probably left it too late. You have to go back and see him, like, within a certain amount of days. So, it's it's after, like, a week, but within a certain amount of days within that. Otherwise, it's gone. So, we'll go and have a look and see what we can do. Here's the other thing. I asked if the rifleman perk affected shotguns, because that's what Planty Mush has been using. Uh, a lot of people said, yes, it does. Even the penetration effect. So, that would be quite helpful. And actually, on the subject of the shotgun, I saw another useful comment from someone who said, uh, robots don't follow the headshot rule, right? You, you should be shooting them elsewhere. It makes sense. It is a robot after all. So we'll try the shotgun again, give it a go, because the alien blaster is very expensive ammo-wise. Let's go and have a look around. The only reason I wasn't doing so much, uh, or, or doing so much hip firing last episode was because the scoping was getting quite annoying. I think it would have been quite annoying to, uh, it's a fat man just like right there. I think it would have been annoying for me to keep scoping that weapon over and over. So that's the only reason I was doing a little more uh, hip firing. I understand that's also annoying in terms of, like, potentially wasted ammo. But I think just visually it's a bit more appealing. I'll probably take the scope off of the alien blaster in a minute. <laughs> He's saying we'll focus on the DLC and I'm immediately robbing Edward. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, thank you. We'll be taking that fat man too, if you don't mind. And those. No, it wasn't me. me going into the basement stealing all your things? Absolutely not. I would never do such a thing. Where is Jack? Somebody said that it's possible Jack could be back in, uh... Oh, he's definitely not down here, is he? Oh, this is nice. They've got a nice place going on here. They had a nice place. Obviously, we're going to, um... Just borrow one or two things. It's Planty Mush's great weakness, and unfortunately, he is, uh... Still a raving kleptomaniac, uh, because that is how Fallout 4 goes. On the subject of things, uh, uh, kind of how Fallout 4 goes with regards to our character, someone in Discord said, I think that Planty Mush shouldn't be described as a sniveling nerd anymore, given what he's done. And I actually kind of agree. I, I think that that is, he's moved on at that point. He's overdue some solidified character development, so to speak. And I think it's very much the case that, uh, after the super serum, fighting his way through all those super mutants, you know, dealing with all the feral ghouls. He's seen the horrors of the wasteland at this point. It's been a couple of weeks now. He's seen the horrors of the wasteland. He's, he's seen awful things, but he's also starting to understand. And certainly starting to get a lot more confidence. He's got 10 intelligence. He's figuring out the variables. He's piecing things together and really, uh, really getting to grips with it all. There's Edward. Okay, let's go so and find Jack and have a chat with him. Yeah, somebody said if, if Jack's not here, he is most likely back in... Oh, there's another one of those guns. Bizarre. I mean, they don't do much damage, so maybe it is just meant to be a... Like a literal prop. Uh, Jack! I feel like I've just gone in an enormous circle for some reason. Jack? He might still be back in Parsons, somebody said. And, and if that's the case, it's possibly too late. But I'll, I'll poke around this house for a little while, see what I can find. Oh, no, he's already old. Oh, I think we've missed it. I only wish I'd been able to find some way to cure my father before it came to this. I still believe that... Oh, no, I think genuinely we may have missed have it in that case. Way to remove the artifact, but it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. Leave me in peace. Yep. I need to mourn my father. He seems to just be stuck in this. Leave me in peace. Oh, well, that I sucks. Oh, well. I didn't really like time gating mechanics anyway, because it's like I actually want to play the game without having to think about this in the... Uh, <laughs> like, like, at the side of things. Is Lorenzo still just on the floor rotting? Bizarre. I'm taking his suit. That's my suit. I'm taking all of this stuff, too. Yes, Ada. Lots of, lots of useful things. You know what, Jack? If you're not going to give me a fancy gun, I'm taking everything that's not nailed down in that case, big man. You had your chance. You had your chance to pay up. Ooh. 
hello. Did I miss something? What is that? Oh, more mysterious serum. Oh, shit. <gasps> more mysterious serum. How the hell did I not see that? Did I just stumble over on the way in. How bizarre. Maybe it respawns occasionally? I doubt that. Weird. I also completely cleared out Jack's house. Again, this isn't Planty Mush saying, oh, f f fuck Jack for not giving him a reward or whatever. Planty Mush was just happy to help out to, uh, you know, stop the negativity and the injustice. I was the one that, you know, I'm not happy about this particular quest progression, but that's okay. These things happen, don't they? Before we head out, sorry, I, I know I said I'm going to focus on the DLC. I promise I am very soon. There's just something I remember seeing over here. It was the, um, it was the, the crematorium. I wanted to have a look at that. Just see what was there before we go. I imagine this is incredibly haunted. I couldn't think of anything more haunted than a crematorium in an insane asylum. That's just like asking for trouble. But let's go have a quick poke around. And then we never have to come back here again. Because obviously, again, you know, the whole Jack things are... Oh, creamery. Ah. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're going to move on then. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to go to... Do we need to empty our inventory? I'll be looking on that front. 203 out of 240. Okay, let's go empty up and let's actually do the DLC now. I'm sorry for the distraction. And here we are. General Atomics. The place that we went on a wild goose chase to. Oh, I know where this is. This is by that Miniman fort, isn't it? Over there. Oh, there's some angry robots over there by the looks of it. We'll go clear out. Yeah, uh, someone left a comment saying uh, that the kind of build-up we should go for the... Um... Oh! Okay, that's a lot of people. The build that we should go for... Oh, that's better. For the Unstoppables team. Uh, specifically, what NPC should play what role. Now, I wasn't logged into my uh, second channel account at the time. I'm still on the main Mr. Samuel Streamer account. Um, but it, uh, it's a fantastic comment. I'll make sure I heart it and pin it later on when I upload this one. so that I Mainly so I can find it, but so everyone else can take a look and give some feedback. That'll be, I think, our final goal as Planty Mush. Trying to build up the uh, the Unstoppables, the superpower team, uh, consisting of, again, the Silver Shroud, um, Grognet the Barbarian, which we've got a good one for already. There's the, um, oh god, i see if I can even remember them at this point. The Investigator and the Mystery Woman, I don't think that's her actual name, and um, a Aquaman, Mermaid Man, something like that. Man, Man, Manta Ray, I think. <laughs> I'm always going to say Man Ray. <laughs> But yeah, no, they left a really good breakdown of what NPCs should do what. So, like, Man Ray could be either Preston or McCready, both of which I think are good suggestions. Kind of like the idea of bringing Preston on board, to be honest. I feel like we've... Oh, the seagulls are so grossy. I feel like we've been ignoring him for quite some time. But to be fair, I feel like Preston already has kind of a role in the grand scheme of things. Like, the kind of de facto leader of the Minutemen. McCready, though, we just kind of spoke to him and then ran off. So, I feel like I'll bring him on board. Curie as, um... The mystery woman, I think her name was. Piper as the inspector is obviously too good. Because... Oh, sorry. The... The investigator, it might be. Because obviously she's an investigative journalist. So that one is, is absolutely perfect. It all made very perfect sense. But I don't know all the companions in Fallout 4. So if anybody has any feedback, for certain, we'll, um, we'll shuffle things around. But the second we say this person is on the team as this particular role... I don't want to change that. I feel like that's very rude. I don't want to give someone a, a persona, an identity, and then swap away from it. God, that's loud. Apologies if that's very loud. Apologies if that's very loud in the video. Because bloody hell, that's loud in my ears all of a sudden compared to the entire rest of the game. Let's take a quick uh, rat away, if you don't mind, and then follow it up with a tasty, delicious stim pack. We have that part now to make the stim packs way more useful. Oh, suddenly I'm a lot more accurate when I scope this weapon, eh? I think I've missed a single shot so far. <laughs> Lots of holotapes. So the iBots contain the holotapes? Is that the case? Okay. Let's not unlock that next area until we've cleaned this one out. You've got to admit, this auto loot mod, though, is a thing of wonderment, isn't it? What are we getting here? Uh, what exactly is in there? I, I don't think there's really anything in there worth worrying about, anyway. Maybe we just can't get in there. Okay, never mind. Right. Oh, God, Ada. Jesus. The Iron Lady, of course. An, an, an unofficial member of the, um, the Unstoppables. Definitely bringing her on board. Somebody said, give her a drill arm so that she can do mining for us. She's the only one that can do mining. And I think that's a fantastic suggestion. I totally agree. I feel like this is a bit more of an appropriate weapon for the Silver Shroud Planty Mush that we're playing as, right? It feels a bit more on brand for my guy. Oh, so this is how we get through into this area. Okay, cool. 
What is that red thing marked on the map? Is that a big enemy? Okay. Well, let's not worry about that quite yet. Let's uh, let's take t let's take the careful approach. Like the shotgun's clearly good. It did incredible work against the ghouls and incredible work against the raiders. But in this situation, careful there, Plancy. I just feel like this is a nice combination of Silver Shroud and Plancy Mush. Like I said, he's kind of mantling the, uh, not in the Elder Scrolls sense. Oh dear. The Silver Shroud. So this does seem kind of an appropriate combination of, of, of who he was and now who he is. New mods available at the Robot Workbench is cool. I'm glad I'm doing so much looting so that we keep a close eye on these things. What do you think that is? Is that like a legendary enemy through there? Okay, let's be careful. Can't see them, but let's be careful. Let's be careful. No need to rush. No need to rush. But I'd like to get some good progress done today. Not at the cost of getting Sweet Planty Mush killed horribly. Oh, I don't know what was in there. We looted it. Looted it way too fast. <laughs> Not that anyone's going to complain about fast looting after all. Hello. Oh, God. It might be able to see us. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's like a, like a robo brain. Is that all it is? It's just a robo brain? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Kind of expected something a bit more frightening, given that it's <laughs> specifically marked on the map. But never mind. Maybe it's a legendary enemy, and that's why it's marked. Okay. Fair enough. Found them. Yeah, no, I found them too, Ada. I appreciate the help, but uh, I, I can see that. I can see that. Don't you worry. Should we drop down? Did you just say resistance is futile? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. We're supposed to be the good guys, Ada. Sorry. Uh, Iron Lady. Iron Lady of the Unstoppables. Companion of Silver Shroud. We're giving her like a field promotion. You know, like, a, like, a, like an on-the-go knighthood. Actually, we could probably instantly hack these, right? Yeah, I was going to say auto-hacker for the XP. Why not? There you go. Boom. Well done, Planty. It's a nice escape route if we get pinned down by this spooky-looking robot. God, this is making the game so much more playable. I, c I cannot say nicer things about this about this highlighting mod. Save me poking around everywhere. We can just beeline to it and just grab it all. Okay. Oh, okay. Careful there. QA department. Let's open up and go to quality assurance. You presume this is where all the... Oh. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department. Okay. I was going to say, I assume this is where all the dangerous, mostly broken robots are. How do we get in there? Oh, look. How do we get in there? I presume we can't. Um, the first ch test chamber. Okay. I presume... Ah, there you go. Oh, okay, we can do that. Okay, little Timmy. We're going to look after little Timmy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Punish little Timmy. Where is little Timmy? Is this little Timmy? Did that Did that work? Who is, who is little Timmy? Does it actually want me to do something for this? Please punish Timmy. Um, I don't really know what it wants me to do in this situation. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I presume this was little Timmy. Little Timmy's broken of ours. We've got to discipline him. But clearly there's nothing here. I presume you don't actually want me to punish anyone. Okay, you know what? We'll come back to this in a minute. Let's go deal with the combat first. A lot of background chuntering happening. Okay, I'm ready. Put me in. It's just a robo brain after all. Planty Bush is very brave and he's ready to dispense justice. There was a lot of enemies behind that wall. Okay, here we are. Security door control. Open doors. Get ready. Immediately prepare. Jump back. What does that say? Incarcerated. Oh, integrated robo brain. So, what is this? Some sort of big robot network? You'd assume that's probably the case. I presume headshots still apply to robo brains. You'd hope so. <laughs> I think of all the robots it's gonna work on, maybe the robo brain is one of them. Excuse me, uh, Ada, please, you're in the way. Something got very dark over there. Okay, well done, squad. Another hollow tape. Search the robo brain mechanist device. There it is. God knows what the hell it's supposed to be. Boom. Okay, some sort of. 
uh, some sort of receiver, perhaps? Somebody's remotely control- is that- so maybe the mechanist is a villain. Jesus. Who's remotely controlling robots? That seems like a safe bet. I like that idea. We'll listen to the uh, holotape in a second, instead of just... Theory crafting. It'll probably just give us an, an obvious answer. What have you got then? That was, looked like- Ooh, see- see Captain's hat. Hello. That looked like some, um... I don't think I can go over there and get that, so we'll just ignore it. That looked like some stim packs in there too. Let's have a quick peek around here, and then I think we probably lose it the place, right? Antiseptic's always nice. Ooh, hello. Lots of great loot in this place. This is a perfect planty headquarters. On the subject of that, someone left a comment. I can't remember where the bloody place was now. Sorry, I didn't keep it open. Saying that there's a better place to set up headquarters, I think is what they were saying. They also said there's an NPC that might be of interest to us, so... Right, let's go and double check, make sure we've um, gone through the place. I don't know what to do about that punish the child accordingly thing. Clearly some sort of test, whereas I imagine at the end you'll get some big big robot reward. So I kind of want to do it. Just make sure the toilets have been uh, combed through. <laughs> Pick up some lovely toilet money. The best kind of money. Give us that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello? Nope. Died on the toilet. What a sad way to go. That's how Elvis died. This was not that bad. Right. And then this takes us back to the... Back to the top of this is a separate area again. God damn, so much loot. Hello, Tesla science. Energy weapons in pl plus 5% critical damage. Very appropriate for Planty Mush. Hello. There's nothing sadder than a painting of a child gathering dust in an abandoned building. It's really sad. Take it with us, hang it up. But I think that's... That's arguably far sadder. Whose child is that? I have no idea. So like going to a charity shop and buying a framed picture of a family. <laughs> oh, General Atomic's ID card. Okay. That's a Kincaid's terminal. Uh, Kincaid. Yeah, there you are. From that, is that from that Leo Fong film? Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, as the on-site human supervisor of General Atomics uh, Galeria, you will be helping to pioneer a new shopping experience for the expanding the General Atomics customer base. Okay. Little intervention on your part. How did that go? Put years of my life into keeping this factory running. This is how they treat me. I'm supposed to babysit a bunch of robots while they play shop. It's ageism. I can still do my job as well as any 25-year-old, but they always tell me, Mr. Kincaid, it's time to retire. Mr. Kincaid, you should travel. Mr. Kincaid, you should spend time with your family. I don't want to do any of those things. That's my type of guy. Working hard is a reward in itself. Oh. Oh, no. I thought we were stuck in the environment then. Oh, frag grenades. Okay. I'm still not sure what to do about that punish little Timmy thing. I might look it up. Please punish Timmy. I'd love to punish Timmy, but I don't know how to punish Timmy. Okay, let's open the, um, open the door. Maybe something was supposed to spawn in. Maybe there's supposed to be like a mannequin or something. Certainly feels that way. I imagine there's going to be loot in one of the, and like the, maybe the final room if you do all the other tests. That's why I want to see what we can do with it. Please punish Timmy. Maybe it's a puzzle and there's something else I've got to do. The child needs discipline. Child needs Okay, let's have a look around. Ah! Oh, not hit him with a rifle. I understand. Oh, that's me just being a terrible... A terrible parent. My response was... <laughs> hit the kid. It's probably very telling. Right, let's uh, <laughs> let's grab one of these and. Okay. Okay, the state of the crying child. What's wrong with the child? Okay. Um, we could put something in its inventory. So clearly, we need to uh, transfer a diaper. That's what you call them in America, right? Milk bottle. Did that work? Okay, it's not that. Uh, she needs a... What does a baby need? Uh, maybe it counts as a quest item. Hold on. Um, what would a baby want? Why would a baby be crying? Uh, little blowtorch. Coolant. Uh, plastic knife. No, probably not. Wonder glue. Maybe. Telephone needs to call for help. Screwdriver milk bottle. Um, what does, what does a baby need? Frag grenade. No, that didn't work either. I'm all out of like, ideas. Uh, oh, maybe like a... Is it in here? Like like milk or something like that? Hold on. 
It's very hard to know when the auto loot grabbed everything before I was able to assess what we had. Uh, soup? I could just put a load of- I could just give it everything. Transfer all? Oh god, I didn't want to give the baby. Okay, one second. Uh, not really sure what to do. I, I looked it up. It's called Baby Bottle. The item is called Baby Bottle. I've sorted everything alphabetically, right? There's no Baby Bottle here, correct? There is no Baby Bottle here. There is no Baby Bottle here either. Oh god, there's no Baby Bottle here. This is this is the only other place I think it possibly can be, right? What about... It, there is, like, quest items, isn't there? There is a subcategory. No? Okay, um... Maybe if it is a quest item, it wouldn't let us transfer it to a container. That's probably correct. There's no baby bottle there. Sorry, just making sure. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, hold on. If we... Oh! I wonder if where we'd looted it and it hadn't added it to our inventory yet. That's possibly the case. Um, misc. Sort by... Alphabetically, preferably. Uh, quest items? Baby bottle. Nothing. Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Hold on. I can't find it anywhere. I genuinely cannot find it anywhere. It's not even in the quest items tab. It's, like, gone. Whatever, whatever we were supposed to do with this, it is gone. It says it's a junk item, but it's it's not here. Like, it's it's just fucking gone. And it, it definitely hasn't, like, instantly broken down or anything. Maybe we'll have to do a bit of our planty special magic for this one. Oh, there you go. Jesus. Right. Yeah, no, we didn't lose it because it was in the tab that I checked before. Um, It was in the junk tab is what I was going to say. Oh, now it's gone again. How bizarre. Whoa, what's going on with that, I wonder? Something to bear in mind for maybe future quests? That's very bizarre, isn't it? Might have gone into some weird subcategory. Why? But that's okay. Problem solved. Well done. Okay, final test then. Take a minute. Okay. Any Removing hazardous objects is, uh, planting. I'd already started doing that by the time we walked into the room. Right, so plates, definitely a fork. That's a hazardous object. Napkin in the bin. They could take that out and eat it and die. Uh, let's get rid of all of these. And anything in here? Ooh, anything in the oven? What about all the broken glass? A machete. Definitely not su suitable for baby. Uh, cabinet's empty. Couch is empty. Uh... What, what the fuck else do you want me to do here? What have we missed? What have we missed? Fridge door. The oven's locked. That's empty. Yeah, I I feel like I've done that. There's literally nothing left. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing left. This one seems a lot easier and it's still not working. Wait, what? <gasps> Maybe the dog. Maybe the dog. Maybe the dog. Maybe the dog. Dog, come outside. Dog? Yes. Ada, over there, please. Maybe the dog counts as a tool of self-harm. There you go, there you go. And now, boom. Boom. No? What do you, what do you want me to do, game? What the fuck, what the fuck else is there? What have I missed? Child-proof the room. What the hell have I missed? There's nothing else in the fridge that I've missed, correct? Nothing else in the, oh, what's that? Bottom shelf of the fridge, what was that? Oh, it's just a texture. Ah. Uh, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Please stand by. Oh, you son of a bitch. Adjustable wrench. Oh, for God's sake. That's giving me a massive headache. Doing <laughs> Just like trying to focus and move around at the same time. It's horrible. <laughs> Ten intelligence right there for Planty Marsh. This is probably touching a bit of a nerve for him, you know. He didn't get to raise a child. <gasps> Replacement fusion core? Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, well, that was definitely worth doing. I'm glad I stuck with it. Glad I stuck with it and didn't just run away. Sorry. So, okay. Let's answer this question then. First things first, we've got a holotape tape for the mechanist. So, let's have a listen and see what this is all about then. people of the Commonwealth. I, the mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. Ah. Well. So he's trying to do it for justice. 
strange. He claims to be working for justice, but is a villainous act. I'd be happy to help if I can. Let's have a conversation with Ada. Did you retrieve something from that robot? Absolutely. Uh, have you seen a robot with a brain like this before? He knows what a robo-brain is, but I guess we'll ask her anyway. No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the Robo-Brain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed. But the model never reached full production status. Hmm. Ah, uh, it had a strange device implanted within. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the Robo-Brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon oh, well, this sounds so we suspicious. can use it to our advantage. Ah, uh, this sounds very dangerous. Are you sure? Perhaps, but I'm confident that the reward will outweigh the risk. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. I bet it will be. peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Okay, so that's Todd Howard saying, do not dismiss this companion. Okay, well now we've got to go back to the Starlight Drive-In anyway. Build our robot workbench. Very convenient way to dump all this crap that we've picked up over the course of day. Sorry, I know this is supposed to be hyper-focused on the DLC and we've done a lot of a lot of side activities. Doing the little the little Timmy Protector uh, Miss Nanny program. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want to go there. We want to go to the Starlight Drive-In. Obviously doing a little looting here and there, going back to the cab house, etc, etc. It's all, it's all good and fine. No need to rush. No need to rush. Much more effective uh, weapon handling today. If you know what I mean. Right, okay. So what, we just go... Kapow? Thank you. Special, here we are. Robot workbench. Oh, cool. I feel like this is a very appropriate place to put it. I'll put it there. Let's, let's move Vault Boy. Hold on. Let's put you... Just there. There you are. Lovely. Nice and wholesome. And then this can go... I guess like... Like that. That way. That way. Where's the robot getting in? We want we want that like up against the building. I think like there. Yeah. That's okay. That's not terrible. Okay. And then we craft. Select a bot. Ada. Ooh. Um, okay. So it's got... We can take off her head. But... Protectron head, uh, Soltron head, a Soltron laser. A short engagement distance, poor accuracy. So it just gives her a laser on top of what she's already got. Okay, that's fine. Um, head factory hardened armor. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, we're going to upgrade her armor. Cool. A Soltron torso, Mr. Handy torso. That's fucking frightening. Oh, God, look at that. Robo brain torso. Improved health, better health. She carries less, but she's, she's tougher. Okay. I think I might do that. Allow her to live a little better. Oh, but her, her damage resistance goes down, so it's probably not even worth it. Goes down significantly, too. Okay, you know, that's fine. Um, right, good. Okay, and then factory storage armor. That's fine. Does that make any difference? No, just increases carry capacity. Um, factory storage armor. Yep, that's all good. Torso mod. Uh, hacking, lockpicking. We don't really need those. Tesla cores would be fun. Rank two of robotics expert. Okay. Well, when we've got no... When it's kind of one of those levels where we haven't got much to spend it on, we'll do, we'll do something with that. Oh, God, look. You can customize it down to the... The segments of the arms. Oh, cool. Okay, so we've done the head. We've done torso. Left arm, then. Sultra left arm. Robo brain arm. Superior melee, melee, melee damage. Reduced carry capacity. Improved melee damage and carry capacity. Okay. Um, pr pr protectron arm. That one makes her uh, slightly healthier. So I'm going to give her some robo brain arm. We can't give her arm armor. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Uh, and then for her weapon, laser, cryojet, left hand automatic laser, the skull mace. Hello. Okay. What the hell do we want to give her then? A claw, a baton, vice grip, flamer, laser. Good God. Um, automatic laser, I feel like might be the best way to go about it. Cryojet? Nail gun. Oh my god, there's so much to see. Sorry, there's like a lot going on here. Um, I think an automatic laser is great. A left unstable explosive minigun. That's awesome. Not really relevant right now. Let's go for the automatic laser then, right? Fire spikes reduce rate of fire. Actually, you know what? Let's go for the nail gun. 
Let's go for the nail gun because then she's got the ballistics weapon. We've got the energy weapon. So that makes sense. Let's give her some armor there too. There you are. You're quite welcome. Then in the right arm, we'll go robo brain again. Oh no, hold on. Oh, sentry right arm. Was that available on the other one? I don't think it was, right? Um, obviously some factory armor there. And then how about a cryo jet? Reduce range, but it's a different type of effect, isn't it? I think that could be quite kind of nice. Right hand automatic laser. Right hand automatic laser. Oh, one's a protectron one. The other's just a generic one. Okay, let's go for the cryojet on the other hand then. Fine, cool. Legs, um, give her a thruster. Exceptional movement's been improved. Carry capacity. I, do I really need to carry that much? That looks cool as hell. I like that a lot. I might give her that one. I might give her that one. It just looks cool. I like that a lot. And let's go for some armor for your thruster as well. There you go. You're very welcome. Uh, paint. Do you want to repaint her? Um, unless there's like something that's... Ooh. Red paint. I like that a lot. She is a very bizarre looking robot now. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I, I don't want to change her head. I feel like that's... That's a little bit intrusive, isn't it? That feels like very, very bizarre. Okay, cool. I think I'm all right with that. That seems, that seems good. This should prove interesting. Build next. Yeah, she looks good. Yes. Um, how do I, what can I do install the thing in there then? Because that wasn't an option, was it? Select bot. It's also hacking module, lock picking recon sensors, radiation coils. No. How do I install the thing into her though? Uh, is there something I've missed here? I feel like I'm going genuinely insane. Let's have a chat with her. Let's talk. Oh, you just do it through. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you just do it through the. Oh, for God's sake, Todd Howard. Okay, we have to have it. We have, we had to have a chat with her first. Right there you are, special mods. Okay, very funny. Radar beacon. Boom. Yeah, stand still, Ada. I'm going to begin installation now. This is this is Planty in his in his prime. This is exactly what he set out for. This is him. Boom. Enjoy. Ah, oh, there it is. Little radar beacon hanging off her. She looks so cool now. I'm so happy with that. I changed her robo brain arm to a protectron arm because it gives slightly more health. Slightly lower melee damage. Who cares about that? Let's have a chat then. A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software. Seems like a really updated. horrible idea. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. That's because it's encrypted, Stinky. Uh, do you believe that the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any Ooh. unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. One of that? One of those? Uh, your vocal modulator appears to be malfunctioning. Uh, that is a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanism. I love that we're already fighting a super villain. I'm detecting another robo brain in the Commonwealth. Ah. The same signal. Ah. Finally, we have an advantage. Oh, God. Okay. Can I already predict what's going to happen here? Are we going to go to this robo brain, kill it, and then she's going to say, I found another robo brain, and we go to that one, and we kill it. And it's going to take us to key locations around the map to, to kind of give it a bit more, bit more flavor, a bit more looting. And then eventually, uh, we're going to go to the mechanist headquarters. He's going to take control of Ada, and we have to beat her in combat to free her from the mechanist signal. Can I predict that that's going to happen? I'm very interested to see how this plays out. Finally, we have an advantage. Perhaps, but it isn't quite that simple. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, oh my god. they should provide the keys and algorithms oh my that god. I need to enhance I've already my called it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. All right, let's do it. Good. Let's get started. Bethesda always work in threes. Your boy now. Okay. Just be careful. Yep. These robots tend to travel in groups, mm -hmm. so you're likely to encounter heavy oh, resistance. Todd. Oh, Todd. Bring me two more of the exact same beacons. Upgrade me. I, I, I just... <sighs> I, I want to say that the final fight would be the mechanist takes control of Ada and you're forced to fight it. But I also think that might be a little bit too cruel for Bethesda to do. They're not normally that brave. So let's see. So here we are then. Uh, what do we want to spend the point on? Always got to check uh, science. Ooh, we can get the next level of scrapper. Oh, cool. Rare components like circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics. Oh, come on. We might have to go for that immediately. Science was what? Level 28? 28, so it's well off of that one then. Um, Night Person is pretty good. 
I does it work? I suppose we do go past the the nightcap. That works really, really. Sorry, the uh, the skill cap. I presume that works really well for little planty. Then if we do quests at night, we get a bunch more XP. The problem is it makes it slightly harder to watch. Armor level two. Honestly, I think taking scrapper as early as possible is the right m m maneuver. Circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics are like a pain in the ass to get. So I'm very happy to see that. Very, very happy to see that. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and uh, empty out room entry then, huh? Let's go ahead and... Ooh, we do get... Look at that immediately. Nuclear material from it. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's my combat shotgun. How dare you even suggest that I would get rid of that? Well, let's get back to work then. Let's go find this next bloody robo brain. I want to hit the ground running here. Uh, collect the second radar beacon. Do you think it's going to be inside another building or just out on the road somewhere? Um, there it is. That was not too far away from where we were anyway. Okay, fair enough. Um, Android Station. I think we've walked right past this, you know? I wonder if it's possible to fight them on the way over and knock them down. Weird. Okay, let's see what we can do then. Good luck, Planty. Planty doesn't need luck. Planty, Planty's already got, like, above average luck. He's already fine. Slightly above average luck. But Planty is none other than the Silver Shroud. You know it. You know it. I know it. Here we go. Careful. Keep your head down. Ooh. Think those are raiders? Or do you think those are the Let's mechanist people? Okay. That was amazing. Oh, no! The non-cannon didn't happen. Didn't see anything. There it is. Oh, that's a tank bot. Oh, dear. That's not... Oh, 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 God. Oh, shit. Oh, oh! Thank God it tried to chase us into the alley that it was slightly too large for. Hello. Oh, that's Ada. Okay, here we go. There's our robo brain. That does do critical hits, hitting them in the brain. You kind of hope so. Oh my God. Oh my God. We just got melted. <laughs> okay. Let's be careful then. We went from like full health to nothing in about a second. Oh my God. Wowie. Okay. No! Not all the way back here. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Is this after I've crunched everything down, though? Please. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Oh, that could have been a problem. Right, let's head back over. Try this again. Round two. Oh. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Remember, always check your targets, Planty Mush. For God's sake. Always check your targets. Like, I did say it was non-canon, did I not? And is it not non-cannon? Okay. That tank bot is very scary. Is that like a particular weak point? Doesn't say. Okay, that's all right. Um, oh! Critical. Oh my god, it did barely anything. Okay. Maybe they are weak to ballistics, and I just need to... Careful, careful. Maybe they are weak to ballistics, and I just need to try a bit better. Honestly, it, it's probably about the same. Careful. Bloody hell, be careful. Okay, let's let's move away. Are you friendly? That's a settler. That's a settler. Check your targets. Do not fear. It is I, the Silver Shroud. Tell your friends. Maybe it's over. Not quite. We're going to save the settler. Save the settler. Save the world. It seems to be up there. Did not expect that, to be honest. Okay. Okay, let's go and have a quick loot. So have a quick loot so we don't have to come back here. New mods available at the Robo Workbench. Yeah. Cool. Stay gone. Right. Can we do something? Huh? <gasps> oh, shit. That does a lot of damage. Holy crap. Right. Let's take another right away, if you don't mind. Be careful going near all those uh, nuclear barrels, believe it or not. And let's take a stim pack. That should get us back to full health. Okay. Careful. 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 Oh, you coward. Oh, you coward. Careful. Careful. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. One hit. <laughs> okay, let's not mess around with this. <laughs> We're here forever. Tease it. <laughs> Shit. Be gone, for it is I, the Silver Shroud. Warrior of justice. Defender of the... Oh, well, never mind. We tried. Oh, it's freaking out. Okay, it's not going to blow up this time, though. That's good. Oh, it killed all these settlers. So much for the mechanist being a good guy. We've seen everything we need to know. 
I wonder if it was transferring back to base when Planty Mush screamed he was the Silver Shroud at those people. Ah, uh, that robot. If so, maybe the mechanist knows who we are now. Grognak the Barbarian. Cometh the Trickster! <laughs> Probably wouldn't name my villain Cometh, to be honest. Uh, Ada. Yes. Uh, I've got it. This will do nicely. Oh. And with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. This will do nicely. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't worry. It will do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another robot Shocker. brain beacon signal. <laughs> it should be the last one you'll need to collect. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, good work, Ada. Thank you. Good if work, Iron Lady. Correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. Mm -hmm. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. The Rust Devils. Ah, uh, we have not come this far now to back down from justice. I understand that, but you should still proceed with caution. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. Mm -hmm. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. Oh, so they're unaffiliated? They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? Okay. I thought that the Rust Devils and the Mechanist might be working together, but it sounds like they are unaffiliated factions. Interesting. Just a lot of very angry robots. Ooh, that is quite a distance. We haven't really been anywhere near there before. Head over to Arc Jet Systems. That's where we went with our good friend Paladin Dance, who's probably wondering where we've disappeared off to. To be fair, we did our duties, and then we, um, you know, just went about our business. I don't think we officially agreed to kind of sign up and be our full-time member of the Brotherhood of Steel. It was more kind of a an apprenticeship than, than the part-time gig. Hopefully he doesn't expect his back, otherwise he's going to be very disappointed. Bear in mind, this gun is an assault rifle. So if things get a little a little tricky, a little messy, a little hairy, we can just we can just go butt wild with it. Okay, let's go as the crow flies. We could follow the road. Probably makes more sense to follow the road because we'll ping some buildings along the way. But you know what? Today, we focus. Ah! That doesn't seem good. Oh, God. Oh, God. So about spamming that, uh... About spamming those shots. Okay. See, in some situations, this gun is actually insane. Justice has been dispensed. It was a, it was a nest. Oh, no. It was a death claw nest. We just invaded it and killed them dead. It was a necessary evil for the people of the wasteland. I suppose it wasn't really... It wasn't really evil, so to speak. We killed an unstoppable... Uh, genetic killing machine bred by the Enclave to fight wars for them. I think that's reasonable. Okay, so where is this then? I thought this is where we need to go, but clearly not. This is, this is someone's house. <laughs> Let's go and investigate. Hold on. We can make it up this bloody hill. See that mountain? You can't climb it. Oh, this is a nice place you got here. Uh, uh, hello? It is I? The, sil the Silver Shroud? I feel like this is someone's home that we've just come in and robbed, but that's okay. These things happen. What have you got? Oh! Oh, are these like rockets? You shoot them and they... <sighs> Planty Bush would never do this. But how could I not? Stand back! This building is dangerous to the people of the Commonwealth. Be gone! <laughs> well, that was a little disappointing, but... Not bad. What, what, can we can we hit them? You can. Wouldn't recommend it though. Ah, oh, that was good. I like that. Okay, we got a red rocket stop right up ahead. We'll plow onto that first. Roughly. Oh, gone a private. Oh, we are in the right area then, huh? Okay. Okay, we'll switch to. Oh, it is I, the Silver Shroud. I'm sure they know by this point. We will switch to daytime, very shortly. Be gone! Amazing shooting. Amazing shooting. What's laser rifle? Shit, if they've got those, we need to be very careful. Child of, child of Atom? That was unexpected. Why are the children of Atom shooting us? Oh, wow. Okay, they've got gamma guns? What, are they 
Are they ghouls? Okay, hold on. Let's just grab these, if you don't mind. Um, this is... I don't really know where we're supposed to go from here, to be honest. Okay, can't see them. They're in there somewhere, I promise. Oh, there they are. There they are, there they are. Take the shot. Take the shot, Planty. Oh, no! Oh, come on! God fucking vats. Why does he never use vats? Yeah, that's why I never use fucking vats. God damn it. Every time it's a betrayal. Okay, let's quickly get these loose hit very, very rapidly. Okay. Jesus, this is, um... It is I! That's... Oh! Silver shroud? I can't even fucking get close here. Impenetrable. Oh! Where are they? There? <laughs> oh, Lord! Okay, we're gonna have to get closer. This might be a shotgun moment. The silver shroud's classic weapon. <laughs> the shotgun of the silver shroud. Everybody knows it. Everybody's familiar. Oh, that hurts. Wow. We might as well wait until we've um gone through this whole fight before we pop some rat away, huh? Nice. Okay. Bloody hell, these people are lethal, aren't they? Good God. Nice. One more. Right. Nice. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Then take this one very slowly because this could be very much life or death. <laughs> Good lord, man, those guns are insane. Okay, here we go. Go for the critical. Nice. The mysterious stranger. Okay. That was a lot of radiation, my god. <laughs> right, there we are. We're good as new. I'm really glad I took that other perk now. I thought that was a commemorative plate. That's a shame. Oh, gamma guns. Damn. They are insane. My god, we've got to be careful of those. Holy shit. Right. Sorry then. Back to business, eh? Bloody hell. Try and stay focused. Stay on, stay on guard. Thought we'd have a peek over here while we were in the area. I assumed it was going to be gunners. Quite expect to be that, uh, <laughs> that dangerous. Let's go over to this, what is this, like a satellite? Oh, this is probably where the gunners are hanging out then, right? If it's a satellite, all right? What is this one specifically, though? Oh, it's a relay tower? Do we do anything with it, or? I think that's just that, really. Oh, there is something we can hack on there. Let's give it a go. What does this do, then? Hello. Uh, extend satellite arrays ready. Okay. Should I have done that? Uh, is that not just going to extend the mechanist signal? Should I have done that? Yeah. Um, it was for, it was for science. Science, of course. Oh, there you go. Oh, cool. So it just extends out the things that you can shoot into with your pit boy. Oh, well, that's actually like crazy useful then. What is that over there? What the hell is that thing? What is that? Like a, a cart on wheels? What is that? Okay. Ooh, orders. First son tells me you caught drinking on the base. Then I find out tank has gone missing. That tank is by, isn't back by 0600 tomorrow morning. Spit shine. So, uh, I blur something, something face in it. I will kick your... Okay, fair enough. I think we can, we can infer where that's going, huh? Oh. Are these the, are these the gunners then? No? I feel like we were late to the party. Activate generator. Clearly something here. Jury rigged iBot pod. Oh, cool. Scan for components. Are we going to set it up to go find stuff for us? What if you're about to locate nuclear material? Oh, shit. Well, that's bloody useful. Can I build one of those back at the base? I presume you probably can, right? Oh. Well, that's actually sick. Okay. See if we can build one of those back at the base then. That seems like it could be quite a, quite a lifesaver if you're, say, a science -y inclined crafting type of character. Huh? God damn. This has been good. We found some really good stuff over here so far. Let's go poke around the town a little bit more. I'm expecting feral ghouls, so we'll keep the shotgun. It doesn't really matter what we find when we've got a shotgun, after all. Let's go have a quick... Is that a glowing one? What was that? Is that a glowing one? What the hell are you? It might just be something... Oh, it's something lootable. It's okay. <laughs> it is a glowing one. Not the, not, the, not the type you think, though. Okay, I'll do a quick sweep through and get all this shit looted. And then we'll get back to the DLC, I promise. Sorry, it's just, um... Oh, it's a Minuteman. Oh, no. Curse you, 
dastardly villains. What can I do for you? Who would kill a Minuteman like that? That's just unthinkable behavior. And Planty has seen so many in the last couple of days. It, it really does break his heart. Really is very upsetting, isn't it? My God. Can we, can we go out here? No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's go to this red rocket. Stop. There's also apparently a... Uh, is that a military base behind it? For Hagen Filling Station. Okay. Presume it's just a standard red rocket. Stop, right? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Braxo cleaner. Yeah, you can you can loot that, Planty. Don't don't let me stop you. My God. Please, take it all. Somebody said that the... um, uh, There's a guy in Vault... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wherever we were last time. 81, I think. Who buys the tools for a good amount of caps. And you can sell them uh, infinitely. Unlike with regular merchants, because it's more like doing it through, um... I think they said it's more like doing it through a quest. So it's probably worth hanging on to a lot of these tools so that we can sell them and cash out for caps. Because, I mean, cap hunting has been totally secondary this time around. I think we've sold the damn thing so far. Oh, here we are. Look at this. What the hell is this place? Is it a ship? What am I looking at here? For... Oh, this is for Hagen. Ah. Okay. Worth looking around later, maybe. Sure, there's got to be some good loot in there. For the time being, let's stick to our expedition. Let's get this final Robo Brain. Okay, my guns ready. How do we how do we get up here? You know what? Let's just keep let's stick to the brush. Lights off. Wait till daytime. Then we can see what we're fighting without giving our stealth away too much by having the pit boy on. And we can also see what we're doing. Oh good. Oh good. A lovely radiation storm. Seems to have cleared up pretty fast. Okay, boom. Okay, here we are. It's raining. Terrible day for rain. Tack on Ten Pines Bluff. Okay. That did say 14 raiders, if I'm not mistaken. They are machine gun turrets. I thought they were. Okay. Just keep your head down. Keep your head down. No need to rush. Okay. We could take that out. No problem. Uh, what, are the, what, is the, what is the hitbox in this game? Oh dear. What is the hitbox in this game? Sometimes it is, uh... Pure insanity, isn't it? Oh dear. Ah, uh, grenade. Shit. Sorry, I noticed those tripwires a little bit too late then. Okay, head down. That sounds like it's just a turret, so I'm not really super concerned. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Great start. Got the Rust Devils coming up. Careful, 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 careful. Trying to throw grenades at someone downhill probably isn't um probably isn't the right play there, fellas. <gasps> Legendary Ross Devil. Oh shit. Not for long, you're not. Okay, a couple more enemies somewhere. God knows if I can Ah! Uh! Look where the shots coming from. Let's go up a little bit. Where are they? Where the hell are they? Is that you there that's shooting at us? My god! What a shot! Okay, let's get a little closer then. Ugh! Mantle for justice! Okay, careful. Careful. <laughs> okay. Too many very sudden deaths. Too many very sudden deaths today. No more. We are the sudden death now. Yes. Get him, Planty. Fuck him up. Okay, they must be upstairs. Okay, hold on. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Be gone! It is I! The almost dead Silver Shroud. Amazing. Problem solved. Well done. Good job cleaning that out. I have to go find that legendary one in a second. Is there anything up here? We've got to go. Oh! These stairs. Todd Howard. Right, why did the uh, legendary one die? Uh, really like whatever you had there, fella. Oh, God. Well, that's going to be fun to find. Will be something I'll try and track down in between, <laughs> in between this and the next episode. They could have died absolutely anywhere. And the worst part is I think they turned to dust. Oh, God. Where did they die? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. Steaming pile of dust right there. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I'm shooting going to turret mark too. Is this the legendary one? Hey, there you go. Ooh. Leather armor chest piece of auto injection. I don't know if that's as useful as it sounds. Bear in mind today, we've, we've been at like 30% health and died instantly. To be honest, probably close to 40 or 50% health and, and died horribly dead. So that probably isn't as useful as it sounds on the surface. Oh, hello. What's the entry terminal? What is this? Just to get us into the building? Okay, security door control. Open door. Boom. Well done. I really thought these Rust Devils would be something different, but they are just kind of generic Fallout Raiders. Given that they've strung people up by barbed wire who also hack robots. A little bit weird, a little bit dissonant. 
That's okay. Uh, oh, fort. Hey, you can hang up. Ah, oh, so we could have probably gone through the fort then. Right. Gotcha. Might still have to do it. And here we are. Find the Robo Brain. Well, I think this is the perfect place to leave it for today. Before we start on a whole new adventure in a spooky abandoned military fort. Little Planty Mush, the Silver Shroud himself, will be back tomorrow for his adventures in. Uh, the. Oh, God, we need to catch a tag like quick. The, the Rabid Roboticist. Nailed it.